six. Now at six, two women spotted at a synagogue. But congregants say what they were wearing caught their attention. To say the term out of character for uh, two women dressed of this nature to see, you know, this is not the general Jewish garb that we see coming in here. And questions they asked raised their suspicions. Why was it important for, you know, a, a Muslim woman to know uh, lecture times in a Jewish synagogue? The big question tonight is this cause for concern. Good evening, everybody. A similar incident was reported at a second Miami Beach synagogue as well. Seven's Raj Lowe is live on Miami Beach with details on this. Raj? Let me tell you, let me set this up for you. First of all, it's North Miami Beach and Miami Beach synagogues where some people are very concerned. I want to tell you here, and this is important to stress, no crime was committed. So what is the concern? Well, the concern is, is that two women came into at least one synagogue in the North Miami Beach area. There's another report they may have come here to Miami Beach, and now police are investigating. Two women dressed in Muslim garb walk into an Orthodox synagogue in North Miami Beach Sunday and start questioning this man sitting outside the sanctuary. What were they asking you? Uh, the question basically was, uh, when are the lecture times here? And, uh, you know, when do people come for, for lectures? And, and How odd was this for you? It, it was very odd. They actually eventually uh, conveyed that to me, that they were actually Muslim. Shai Zamor, member of the synagogue, thinks it's strange, especially when one of them pulls out a Quran. I explained the similarities that Arabic is also written from right to left. You can see him following the women outside of the synagogue. He calls security, although no crime was committed. I was trying to understand the purpose of all this, the, the purpose of the engagement and the purpose of the content of the conversation. These same women were at the same synagogue on the previous Friday, also asking questions of congregants, and that has some members of the community concerned. Very simple. You see something, say something. No matter what religion you are, if you're in a Seventh-day Adventist or any other church, doesn't make a difference, or a temple, someone that doesn't belong there, don't just sit back. Say, get on the phone, call your local authority, call 911. A similar incident happened at a Miami Beach synagogue this past Saturday, where two women asked a congregant about a specific prayer service and when it takes place. Police from several agencies are trying to find out if the same women were involved in that visit. North Miami Beach police say, quote, we received an information report of a suspicious incident and have forwarded it to multiple agencies who are actively investigating. Several different apartment detectives have come. They're looking into everything. They're, they're, they've been taking it very seriously. So you heard it there from that community activist that police are looking into this case. In fact, we did speak with uh, police in several different departments today, and they all told me that they are taking this seriously. No crime has been committed, but they are actively investigating this situation. We'll keep you updated. We're live on Miami Beach tonight. Rosh Lowe, 7 News.